Hi everybody, welcome back to the craft portion of the Easter Storytime and Craft. And hopefully you've picked up your take home bag and in it you'll have received an Easter egg maze and an Easter bunny coloring page and an Easter story fact sheet. Those you can do at home whenever you want. Then you should have also received a little instruction sheet that lists all the things that are inside your bag. And also a reminder that um, you can watch this video through all the way once and then watch it again and pause when needed. And you can watch it later in the day. And then also to remember to take um, a photo of your completed project and email it to me at ggatto at lmls.org so I can post it on our Facebook page. Then you should have received a toilet paper roll, a rectangle of pink, construction paper, a square of pink construction paper, a white square, and so we have some, if you can see them, some googly eyes. And also I included, because the googly eyes are a little small, a strip of funny eyes. So you can use these if you don't want to use your googly eyes. And then of course there's extra, so you can use them for other projects. And then a fun sticker, a fun Moana sticker, you can put on your shirt or put in your sticker book. And then a little poof if you want to use it for your bunny's nose. I didn't even tell you what we were making. We're going to make a little bunny. See? Here's a little bunny with his guy's little ears, his little poofy nose. You can draw a nose on if you want. And his little poofy tail. That's what we're making today. And also, I added some poofs if you want a really poofy tail. Okay. And also, what I added instead of the ears, I added templates. They just happen to be with black cardstock. And I'm going to show you what to do with those in a minute. Okay, so you get your toilet paper roll and you get your rectangle piece of pink construction paper. And you're going to roll the cardboard tube inside the construction paper. And you can either use glue stick or you can use some tape like I'm doing here. Oops, this went on kind of wonky. Let's see, can you see this? Pull it back a little more. There you go. See, I put the tape right there. And if it is a little bit longer, that's okay. You can just fold it over. And I'm going to fold this one over. So there we go. Okay. And then before you put the paper on, or after you put the paper on, you are welcome to use some crayons or some markers or some colored pencils to decorate the paper. If you want, you can add little arms or just some designs. Okay, next we're going to make the ears. So for this, you need your two squares of pink and white paper. So you have your two templates and a template is like a cutout of a shape that you can use over and over again. So we're going to use this. We're going to get a crayon or you can use a pencil and you are going to draw two of these on your pink paper. Okay. And then if you need a little bit of help, you can ask your big person. So you're gonna draw it on, you're gonna trace around the template, which can then be used over and over again. There's my template, I'll put that down. And you can use your kid scissors to cut out the ears, or you can have your big person help you do this part while maybe you're decorating your bunny body. Okay, so 
there's one ear. Let's do the other ear. And then we are going to use the smaller template to cut out the inside part of the ear. So here's the smaller template and you draw two of them on your paper. I think I'm going to do right here is so just trace it. It's almost like when you get a piece of paper and you put your hand on it and then you trace around your fingers. That's like your, your hand is a template. So that's exactly what we're doing with this. And this way you can still use your hand over and over again. Same with the template. I can still use this to make more bunnies. So I'm going to cut out it doesn't have to be perfect. If you cut it out and it's a little thinner or thicker, that's perfectly fine. Remember, this is your little bunny, so you can make it any way you want. The bunny I made is just a model. This is just how I made it. You can make yours a little differently if you want. Okay, so we're going to get our ears the pink ears, the big ones. And then what you want to do is you want to glue the whites inside if you want. And you can use glue stick to do that. So I'm going to put, well, I'm going to use some of my leftover paper down here so I don't get glue all over the table. So you might want to put down some wax paper or some newspaper. Okay, so this is nice and sticky, and I'm going to stick this onto my one ear. Now we're going to do the next ear. Sticky. And put it on. There we go. Okay. And we have our two little ears. Then you get your little bunny body. And what you want to do is you want to tape them on the inside. If you want to tape them on the outside, that's fine too. But you tape them on the outside inside. So what I've been doing, instead of using the glue stick for that part, I've been putting a piece of tape, oops, wrong side, on the back like that, and then just putting it in. And then I usually put my ears in, oh, like maybe about a quarter of an inch. And then I push it down. And you can add a little more tape as needed to the back. And then I'm going to do so with my other ear. So you can either put your ears close together or you can put them further apart. I'm going to put mine closer together, I think, this time. Maybe he's twitching them like that. Okay. And then you can either use your glue stick to put on your googly eyes. Or this time, I think I'm going to use eyes from the strip of eyes I have here. Hmm, which ones? Maybe I'll use these. I decide I'm going to use these eyes. Or you can use one of one set and one of another set if you want. I'm going to stick them on. How's that? Now... The next part is the nose. So you can either, like I did, use the small colored poofy for the nose, or you can draw a nose on if you want. I want to use the poofy because I just like lots of poofiness. So I'm going to use my glue stick 
put a lot of bit of oops a lot of glue there and I'm just gonna stick that poofy on and rub it in there he's got a little cute poofy nose that's that and then you can get a crayon I'm gonna use purple and I'm going to draw a little mouth and whiskers and you don't have to Gonna make mine a little thick. Draw some whiskers. Here we go. And then, of course, we need a nice poofy tail. So I gave you three cotton balls. So you can either use just one of them, or you can. Oops, the lights went out. Or you can put all three on. I think this time. This time. I'm going to use all three. For this bunny, I only used one. So now I'm going to need to put on a nice big area of glue stick. Oh, yeah. All right, and then I'm going to stick one poofy off to the side, one on this side, and one down below. And push them together so it looks like one big giant tail look at that that is that is one poofy tail okay and if you have any stickers at home like I have like a leftover heart from Valentine's Day can't have too much love I'm going to just stick it somewhere you just stick it off to the side here why not yeah, like that. And there is our little Easter bunny. She's ready. So I hope you enjoyed this craft. Remember, send me a photograph of what you've made and I will post it to our Facebook page. I hope everybody has a nice weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye.